Hello, welcome to a first look at Dome Keeper. This game is pretty unique, I would say. It's like a... Honestly, I don't know what to say this is like. It's sort of like, I guess, the game that I would say it's closest to in gameplay is like Terraria, but that's not right. Like, that's not close. I haven't played a game like this before. It's very fun. Strongly recommend it. Spoilers on that front. But I'm here to tell you a little bit about it. So this is a this game came out last week on September 27th. Uh, it's by a developer named Bippin Bits, who I had not heard of. However, I looked and they've made one other game called Of Mice and Moggies. So uh, came came out last year. So actually, it looks kind of interesting. Not not too uh, not too well known from what I can tell, but it looks like a cool little puzzle game. So I might play that on my own time. Anyway. Uh, this game is $18 on Steam. I am unsure where else you can buy it. However, I know I know that it's on Steam because I grabbed it there. The sale has ended, I apologize, but yeah, this game is definitely worth a look if you haven't taken a look. And that's what I'm here to show you. So, do I have anything else I need to tell you about it from Steam? Oh yeah, I want to warn you. I do I do have a warning for you at the outset. This game also warns you when you open the game, they want you to play on GamePad. This is a designed for GamePad game, aka a controller. I am a stubborn, uh, stubborn gamer, so I will not be playing on GamePad. I will be playing on keyboard because that's who I am. I, I have played a little bit of this uh, just in my own time to see how I feel about it. I don't think you need to play on GamePad, but they warn you. Now, there's a lot of languages. There are uh, quite a few. They got some community translations even, so, you know. Feel free to pause and read your language out. I am not going to read all of these. Uh, damn bro, that's a lot of languages. I am English. Uh, you can turn off screen shake. And you can reset all the tutorials. There's nothing all that interesting to talk about in the options menu. Audio menu, you know, I really appreciate the little notches. I would give this audio menu like a... This is like a 5.1 out of 10. I I can't type in the number I want, but since it's a 10 point scale, that's fine. However, the fine control, you know, it's like, maybe I'm too critical of these options menus, but I give this one a pass, but like barely. It's like a, it's like a B minus. And then you can rebind the keys if you want. And uh, they have some gamepad settings here for you, dead zone, etc. Mostly though, screen shake ability to turn off, great choice. Okay, so let's get to it, shall we? I haven't, I, it's a shorter intro. This is a pretty simple game, all things considered. So, uh, there are some, you can choose some things at the start uh, for loadout, so your runs aren't 100% the same. However, there are only a few. Feels a little loud, hang on. One sec, hold, please hold. Go back to that 5.1 out of 10 options menu. I wanna go turn down the sound. I want to turn the music up a little bit too. The music in this game is so good. This is definitely, I haven't done this lately, but this is a game where I will stop talking for a little bit to just let the music go because the music in this game is killer. But yeah, I only have the base level stuff here. There are four things you can change and you know, it, it's not super, super in depth on the number of things you can do, but I still have a good time with it. The goal of the game here is going to be to find relics buried deep and... Or sorry, find find the relic buried deep and bring it home to your dome. I'll play on normal. The game says it's meant to be played on brutal. This is the intended difficulty, which I actually really appreciate because it means that they designed this game to be very hard and then scaled it back for, uh, for the gradual difficulty curve, which is good. I uh, could see, I, I can see it being fun on all difficulties. I'm gonna play normal for this, but I also appreciate that they didn't call it like easy or casual or baby mode, you know. I'm actually just gonna skip this. The premise of the game is that we have a dome. It's crashing to the earth. Oh, they flash banged me. Okay, so we have begun the game. So here's the deal. We got this dome here. I can... Uh, sorry, you gotta get used to the controls again. So, I'm gonna bring up the upgrades menu because this pauses the game. Uh, we go and we mine for these three resources, square, circle, and triangle. And we use them to upgrade the dome. Over time, 
enemies will come attack the dome and we can upgrade to see like when they're coming and things like that. This is it. You go mining, uh, when the enemies show up you fly back up uh, and you fight them off. Now we, we have to pick up the resources and carry them back up. Space to pick them up, Q to set them back down. You just pop on up here, you pop them in, and now we have three more resources. In the bottom left is our like information panel. So that, that blue bar is the shield we have, which was our starting gadget. It just absorbs a little damage before we start taking actual structural damage. Uh, how much does... Because there's three types of upgrades here. Yeah, okay. So there's dome upgrades. These are upgrades to like... Here's how long until the next enemy attack. I will buy this to see how long. And then there are jetpack upgrades to make us move faster, drill stronger. There's upgrades to the laser beam to make it do more damage or uh, move faster. And then there's upgrades to the dome itself, strength. It, we get a little gadget upgraded ability here. I am going to upgrade our flight speed. But this is basically it. Uh, this is the... Uh, I think that the entering and exiting... The dome interface is a little bit clunky on keyboard, and, you know, they said the game is controller only, but this is a PC game. My opinion is that it's a PC game, and I want the controller, the controls for the keyboard to feel, like, at least fine, you know? It's part of the reason why I'm stubborn about it, I guess. I want the controls to feel okay on PC, because this is a PC game. Not everyone has a controller. I'm gonna sit here and wait because they're about to pop up. So, now we're in the combat phase. Left and right moves the laser beam up, shoots, and then we'll get other abilities as we go, and these little, these little shadow balls will walk at our dome and start hitting it. Excuse me. So, what's happening there, by the way, every time that I finish combat, is I instinctively hold left to to leave the interface however left is the enter battle mode because if you see hang on i'll come back up here and illustrate there's two modes here you press e to hop on and it actually oh, it shows you it's paused at the top that's good so there's battle mode which is pressing a or left and then there's upgrades which is pressing d and then when i finish battle mode i usually just hold left because i'm like oh yeah now i want to fly to the left and it just re-enters battle mode. It's it's a me problem and something that I'll get over, and it's also partially because I'm playing on keyboard. I know that. But like I said, my, my feeling stands about the keyboard stuff, and I think it's fair criticism since this is a PC game. If you don't, uh, you can type to me in the comments about how it's unfair, and I'll say, yeah, okay. I mean, whatever, really. We can upgrade our carrying capacity as well so we don't get as slowed down. There's a cap to how much you can carry, though. And I think that there's a lot of, like, actual min-maxing to be done in the patterns of how you mine and things like that. However, I like just clearing everything out. But resources are finite. It costs resources to repair the dome when it starts to take damage. And so, theoretically, over time, because you won't be able to kill all of the enemies every time, over time, you're going to reach a point where you run out of HP. I imagine. Maybe there are setups that let you stop all damage. It's possible. But, I'm not really sure. I think for I think for this phase, I'm going to turn the music up and I'm going to silence myself. And I will just let you enjoy the game and its ambience. Because I think that it's really strong. Also, made with good dough. Pretty cool, huh? If you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. Alright, I'll be back after the next battle.
back all night. I'll turn the audio down. Uh, you didn't get as much time with it as I would have liked, but, you know. I'm gonna make this a relatively shorter video anyway. Like probably 20 minutes max, so. Because this is all there is to it. But that's not entirely true because there's other things like what we're about to see here, this relic. Which add to the experience quite a bit. There's, oh god. It was a little loud, but you, you get these little relics along the way which give you permanent benefits. Uh, this one, I don't know what it gives us actually, so we'll see. We just drag it up here and we get a little bonus. We get a gadget! Okay, so we can either get... Convert your resources, helping you balance your resource inventory. A two-way teleporter with a station under the dome and a portal. Oh, that sounds so good. Or you can turn it into two triangles. I'll take the teleporter, absolutely. So I assume, yeah, we just pick up the teleporter. And we go drop it at our lowest point. Or, can I just carry this with me? And then I can just always teleport back to the base? I wonder if I can't teleport with resources or something. Here, let me see. Oh, it floats. You can move the portal anywhere you want. Hold space to pick the portal up again. If you hit E, it will teleport back. You will teleport back. Oh, I can't move. Okay, it teleports you without the resources. Makes absolutely perfect sense. That is how I would expect that to work. I'm ready for battle. I'm gonna try to kill the flying enemies first, because I feel like... I mean, these walking enemies are also guaranteed damage. But, I feel like the flying enemies always hit me. Also would like it if that thing in the bottom right would go away. I, I read it. I appreciate the knowledge. If you aim a little lower when they stack up like this, you'll actually hit the guy who came up first. But you can see we're starting to get hit. Uh, I should have upgraded my drill strength a lot sooner. Yeah, and I'm just gonna chill otherwise. Oh, I may maybe I have to. I might have to pick space up. Oh, never mind. It was waiting for me to teleport. I see. Okay, so we should go we can carry three efficiently. So, we'll make two trips here. Oh, but it does, it actually makes the, the trip a one-way thing, right? We do lose some time, but it's definitely an, a bonus over flying. Yeah, this is basically the whole game. I th I've heard that it gets pretty uh, min-maxy when you get into the higher difficulties, which is great. Very cool. I think there's a little bit of enjoyment for everyone, if that's the case. I'm gonna drag this with me. Yeah, now we enter the secondary biome here. There's, like, different biomes to indicate how far you are. This, uh, this orange biome is, like, level 2, basically. How I would look at it anyway. Yeah, my thought is I kind of just want to dig straight down for a while and then make little lines. This is how I play Terraria, also. And I gotta drop my portal and teleport back, if you don't mind. We found a ton of yellow squares, which is great. Excuse me, I need to get in the driver's seat. There are enemies here. I'm gonna get hit here for sure. I'm gonna take actually a pretty good amount of damage, I imagine. Because my I have to spin it all the way around. You can see it's slowly ramping up the enemy waves. I imagine that they're seated. I don't think there's any randomness to it. But I don't know for sure. So, there is a health bar, which I'll go ahead and unlock here so you can see it. A lot of the things that you would think are like, oh, isn't this missing? They're unlocks. So, like, I can upgrade upgrade for one square to get the health meter. And you can see that now in the bottom left. I can get, like, a wave counter. I'm on wave six. Or I just passed wave six, I guess, really. The sort of stuff that actually probably becomes worthless as you become better at the game. But... You know, I'm gonna upgrade my jetpack speed, and I am going to... I'm gonna do one more one more wave set, and then we're gonna head on, and I'm gonna wrap up the video. But, yeah, uh, overall, I've, I've already kind of spoiled it, but I think this game's really good. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, I can imagine it becoming a little more min-maxy in the way you dig and things like that, and the waves and you optimizing everything, so... But overall, it's really relaxing. Like, the music is fun. You can hear it. It's very good. And... Yeah. I, like, I've, I have found myself opening this game up for like a 5 or 10 minute session every now and then. Just kind of chilling. 
when the music go. You can pick up the soundtrack if you are so inclined. I might actually pick it up myself because, like I said, it's real good. I think, anyway. Oh, also, why am I... I should be teleporting now. You're right, you're right. But the gameplay cycle of going from mining to fighting is pretty quick. There are, I believe, bosses. I think I've fought an enemy that I would consider a boss at least once. I don't know when it shows up, so I'm not... No, not really a boss, I guess. It's just the enemies do scale up. They add in more than just these two enemies. There's like a bunch of little goons that jump on you. Maybe we'll see those or something. The early game is just very samey. Yeah, we've seen these flying guys before. They get stunned when you laser beam them, and they're untargetable while they are uh, flying around. Yeah, I'm gonna finish this guy off. I feel like it's better to minimize the amount of time you spend re-aiming your laser beam. I'm interested to see, because there are other dome types. There's another character type as well. So I'd be interested to see what they're like. I said I was gonna end, but I'm gonna do one more wave, because uh, yeah, I feel like it. I wanna see if we find anything else cool. But. Like I said, games like... Uh, did I tell you how much it is? I think I said the game is $17, but it is around there in price. Very worth it to me. I think that this game... Uh, it's, it's, wor it's worth the time, is my feeling. It's a nice... I, I've been struggling to find a game like this, where I can just kind of sit down and play it for a little bit of time and then go do something else when I'm sick of it. Oh my god, that is very loud. And not necessarily sick of it, by the way, but like... I don't, I don't feel like every game that I play needs to be a multi-hour time investment. It's nice to have a game that I can sit... I, like, because the game saves very easily. Uh, and... And by it saves very easily, I mean it saves when you quit the menu. So you don't have to fuck around with it. And what we got? We get a, bla a machine under the dome that produces blast charges or the resource converter. Give me the blast charges. I'm gonna go drop a bomb somewhere. But yeah, the the in and out of this game is pretty pretty quick, from my experience. I'm gonna go over like three here and then place the bomb. Oh, they're coming by the way. Yeah, not too bad. Ah, it does pause. The pause is really nice. I didn't know that it paused while you were sitting on the thing. Oh, here are the goons. So, they're very weak, but when they reach you, they just jump on and explode for a flat amount of damage. So, that's another enemy type for you. Probably not going to see any more enemies because I'm going to wrap up after this one. But, yeah. You can see the dome starting to fall apart as well. This is, uh, like, one life sort of thing. Where, if you... If the dome breaks, you lose and you start fresh. But, you know, it's not that big of a time investment. So... Uh, overall, I think that this is not the sort of game that you're going to find yourself getting uh, hundreds upon hundreds of hours out of, I imagine. But, you know, probably like a good 20, 30 hours. It's a good time. I definitely think it's worth taking a look at. Uh, a few other things to unlock. Again, I'll, I'll head back to the title screen here. And I will show those to you again in case you wanted to see them. So you can change your dome. Now that you've seen what this stuff means, you can change your dome your character not yet available but coming soon so they're actually also still doing work on the game that's cool you can change your starting gadget and you can change the game mode and those are all unlocked but they're also working on a new character so there's more content to come as well there you have it dome keeper uh definitely worth a shot give it a give it a look if nothing else listen to the soundtrack dude i love this music but with that i'll say thank you for watching uh, if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.